So the story that I was told is that um, I have two older sisters, they were both playing, and uh, my parents kind of brought me along to one of their practices, and uh, I just started kicking the ball on the side and kicking around cones and whatnot, just doing little stuff, and uh, one of my sister's coaches came over and said, oh, he's pretty good, you know, like he should try to play, and so that was kind of my introduction into the sport. Yeah, so at a young age, got involved and then eventually played on teams, et cetera, et cetera, so that was my introduction. It's like the meal prep is very specific. So I'm specific with my diet. I'm also specific with like the times. So I'm like the pre-match meal, I'm eating like three hours, 45 minutes. Um, and then I'm trying to space out the meals throughout the day, um, making sure I eat three times. If it's a night game, if it's a day game, that might not be possible, but very specific in that regard. And then I'm, I'm probably just watching movies, usually comedies during the day. What are the meals? It's usually chicken and rice, you know, sweet potato if I have it, you know, try to get those, those complex carbs in there, um, get rid of those simple carbs, those sugars, those are no good, so. Yeah, Boston, um, so I like it a lot. Well, I'm from New York, so I'm still in the Northeast. I like that it has seasons, sometimes even in one day that it's historical, but also modern, you know, kind of this, this balance is really nice, not just like a, a new city with that doesn't have a ton of culture, I feel like Boston does. Um, it's got pretty good food, maybe not Providence or, or New York, but pretty good. Um, and then it's got, uh, you know, good, good sports. So I, I like all those things. Best piece of advice. Um, Oh yes, um, but yes, I actually had a really good one. So my U14 coach, he, uh, it's not what I wanted to hear at the time, but it's, I'm really glad he told me and he said, never feel sorry for yourself. Never feel sorry for yourself. And that was kind of the first time I heard it and I've heard it a lot since and it's spot on. Like feeling sorry for yourself is the biggest waste of time. So, um, you know, there's, there's no point in sulking or anything like that. You just kind of got to pick yourself up and get after it again.